looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get out of our cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I huh. prefer talking Not to clients to face here. to face. Get a good read on them. Well? Ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time again. Would you look at that? A secret game behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Yeah, the first time out here was for a swap. Stolen diamonds. <laughs> of course. Deal went bad and I got arrested. I ended up bribing the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, we hit it off. And I made it a point to... It's a note. ...for a few years. Well, hell, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Oh, my mistake. It wasn't like that for once. He just saw the world in similar ways. Besides, she moved to Brazil. Been a few years since we've seen each other. Well, maybe time for a visit. Maybe. First, let's wrap this up. A little warning next time. I guess the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. No, let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Jesus! Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4 by 4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road, it might rain. Oh, shit. You take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <clears throat> Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <clears throat> Sam, 
Look, that's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <laughs> All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> those poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage and peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing Sam. Be right back, fellas. Jeez, am I boring you? I'm sorry, Sully. Just give me a second. All right, I'm back. So we see. Now, where was I? You're describing sailing to a former squid. But the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Oh, shit. Stop, stop. I see him. Inbound. 
Where'd you go? Hang on. How's it? We have that dunk. What was it? I'd like to get it over with and move on. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, damn it, Rafe and they he must have dozens. Of I mean, they they could just stumble on. Look, another sigil. Huh? Adam Baldridge. He ran Kings Bay for a while. He was a Traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison, a lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? I was against getting ripped off. Slip and slide. <laughs> Sully, <laughs> so, like, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's Be not right hard. back, fellas. Hey, where are you going? I gotta go look around. <laughs> Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So, no, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. It's doing the same damn thing. They found the treasure already. 
But look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. What would you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides... Uh, hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Might come in handy. Have we here? Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Pirates weren't messing around. Okay, what do we have here? So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Sorry, you were saying? Um, no. Oh, right. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get work? Ah, hell. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. Blow it up ourselves. If we happen to find the treasure, we just skim a little finder's fee off the top. Don't even think about it. I'm not about to have Nadine hang me because of you. No, there's definitely something down there. No one will know. She'll know, the rest of the crew will know, and we'll be dead. <laughs> yeah, but I... I'm tired, so please drop it. Fine. We're clear. Hey, look. Anything in that pit? Oh, check it out. Hey, maybe there's something down there. You were saying, Nate? Oh, yeah. If you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. 
I never got it. That'd be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Oh, Jesus. Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Sorry, you were saying? Um, no, oh, right. That'd be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided... Whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Right then. I think we're clear. Let's see what's in there. Damn, you were saying? <laughs> 